Yo, 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 what up, what up? You know your boy had to get extra crispy for the night. Man, this boy had me waiting out here for an hour. Hi, Nico. good with you? Hey, so she good, they're asking. Daddy loves you. Hey, come here, come here. Give me kisses. Mm, give me kisses. Hey, huggies. <laughs> Love no you. Way. Love you. No way. I got inspired today. Who makes a Santa Claus snapback? What I wanted to do was make like a little tutorial video and I try to film it. I filmed half of it. I don't know if I wrote some B-roll in there. Hey, mom calling me. I know y'all see the Santa Claus snapback. I know y'all see it. I want to show you guys how to make it. So what I ended up doing was I took a regular Santa Claus hat. You know how the regular Santa Claus hats, they kind of like fold over and stuff like that. The reason why I have to verbally tell you guys is because I actually filmed the whole process, but unfortunately, uh, this is like the first time I've ever done I've ever done it. So I filmed it, and then I, I kept messing up a lot, so I just cut the camera off. But when I finally got it right, I forgot to cut the camera back on. So it was, I mean, it's really very simple. Let me just show you guys, right? All right, so the first thing I did was I did a stitch just, just uh, like right around the top of the white part, so that way it doesn't fold down anymore, right? The way this one folds down. See how you can kind of fold it down? Didn't like that because I wanted to keep it uniform. Then, real quick, I took a regular snapback hat, such as this one, and I basically put it under here, kind of, so I don't know if I, if I can get it right. Anyway, I put the Santa Claus, the Santa Claus hat underneath it, kind of traced it out, you know, just visually, uh, cut around it in between the two white parts. There was like a little opening. You stick it inside, and you, you stick the snaps inside, and then you stitch it, right? So I had each snap in there, then I stitched it, and then I had like little extra like white pieces. These ones right here, and I just put them inside right here, kind of sewed it up because you saw like a lot of like excess um, fabric and white parts and stuff like that. It's not perfect, but it's just something that I just made shift for going out last night and I thought it looks really cool. So, sorry, I don't have a video to show you guys how it was done, but hopefully you guys get the gist of it. And where did I get the snaps from? Dude, like, take one of your old hats, cut it up, and get a whole bunch of snaps. I have a ton of them, so I should put them to use. So if you want to style on them this Christmas, get yourself one of these Santa Claus snapbacks. If you guys want me to make you one, just holler at me down in the description, shoot me an email or whatever. Uh, add me on Snapchat, you can uh, write me on there, send me a video, like, yo dog, that Santa Claus snapback, son, I really need that before the holidays, I need you to hook me up. I got you, I'll send them out ASAP, man, just let me know. Which one you want to make? You want to make... Oh, doopy! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I should look like, like fucking pizza bagels. Nanak Rasmulai! Alright, so look, you see, I, I see this shit. Look, I'm gonna read you off the ingredients. Cow's milk. They did have to specify cow's milk. Modified milk ingredients. Wheat flour. Pistachio nuts. Doug, it has 0.5% of pistachio nuts. Okay. Acidity regulator? What the? Firming agent? Oh, Preservative? Oh, oh. Thickeners? <laughs> My nigga, there's two real ingredients in here, dog. Don't give that to your kids. Oh, we can have some body booty. <laughs> <laughs> you like the show? Yo, explain it to them, dog. You do it. All right, so funny booty. According to them, it's a water ball. Look at the water ball. You got these cool ass shells, right? Cool ass shells, and they're really puffy. You crack them open, and you put chickpeas, potatoes, and some cool ass uh, sauce, and then. It comes with like a packet of seasoning and you mix the seasoning with water and then you put the water inside the ball. And I was asking him, yo, dog, it's like a pastry puff, but it's gonna get soggy when you put the water in it. He was like, nah, like, like you, you keep the shell out there for the people and then they fill it with the ingredients by themselves and then they put the water in and then they eat it. So you don't have time to get soggy. You see that? Urupi. That look dumb good, my nigga, what is it? It's soft and moist. No, I, I, I don't want to hear about texture. It's what rice cake, it? spice rice cake. So, so the main ingredient is rice. Yeah. So what's that red part? This Bring one. Yeah. What's the red part? Is that like a sauce? It's supposed to be somber. Like how? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you eat with them this one, I guess. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh shit. You better not put that. Okay. Dom, do you want one? Bro, don't you love it when you offer someone food and they say no? <laughs> like, yes. Yo. I like steak kebabs, but not for no ten dollars. Make my own damn steak kebabs. Oh, yeah, Bobby, go in. Look at that. Oh my God. Dog. Do you like the chorizo? I ain't tried yet. It's my first time. I'm gonna try the chorizo. It's good. Mm. My God. Yo, Chipotle hits a spot every time. I don't even know what to get my daughter, man. Oh, I seen this on the TV. Oh. Nah. Oh. Uh, nah. Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Oh, hound. What? $16.99 for this? All right, so we got what we came here for. A lot of shopping, a lot of, not even a lot of gifts, but all this shit right here. It took like eight hours to get. And in here too, don't forget in there. Oh, no. All this mental energy going towards kids' gifts. It's exhausting. I'm tired now. <laughs>